Hello, welcome to this video on finding an angle using trigonometry with right angled triangles. So just like in the previous video, we're going to first of all identify our sides. So in the triangle I have drawn here, I have got the hypotenuse and I have the adjacent side. Again, like we did before, I'm going to look for the cos triangle because that is the one that has both the A and the H. Now, the difference here is because I'm trying to find the angle, I'm actually going to cover up the cos, the C. So that is telling me to do A divided by H. Now, on its own, that isn't going to work. So what I'm going to have to do is if you press shift and then your cos button, it should come up and say cos minus 1. Inside those brackets, that is where you put your A divided by H, your adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So in this case, that is 7 divided by 20. If you type it into your calculator exactly as it is written, then you should end up with an angle of 69.51 degrees. There is nothing wrong with having a decimal for an angle. That is perfectly acceptable. And for this bit, remember what I said, you need to press shift and then press cos and it should automatically put, um, come up. Have a go, see if you get 69.51. Right, let's have a look at a second example. So again, step one, identify the sides. Doesn't matter if it's on a tilt, the same process applies. I have the, angle, the side length opposite to the length of B, and I have the hypotenuse side. So looking at my triangles, I can see that it's going to be the SO, the SIN triangle. And again, I'm trying to find the angle, so I'm going to cover up the S this time, because I know what O and H are, and it's telling me to do the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So, again, just like with the cos triangle we just did, we're going to use SIN minus 1, Remember, you get to that by pressing shift and then sin on your calculator. And inside the brackets is where our fraction goes. The opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Again, if you type it into your calculator exactly as it is written on the board just there, you should get an angle of 33.49 degrees. Remember, don't panic that it's a decimal. That is perfectly acceptable. Okay, here's one for you guys to have a go at then. So first step, identify your sides. Did you work out that you have got the opposite and you have got the adjacent? Then identify whether it is sin, cos or tan using the triangles at the top. You should have worked out it was a tan triangle and cover up the letter which you are trying to find. So you should have covered up the T. That is telling me to do the O divided by the A. Have a go at calculating your angle. So we should have tan minus 1. Remember to get to that, it would be shift and tan. And then you need to put in your fraction. So O, which is 8, divided by 3. Again, your calculator is going to do all of that for you. And you should end up with 69.44 degrees. Did you manage to get that? And that's it. Again, that is all you need to find an angle. Have a go at applying that to any other work that you have. Good luck.